Good morning, my friends. Hey, it's great to see you today. It's great to be alive on this uh, on this Thursday morning. It is indeed. Hope you you're doing okay today. Obviously, uh, the scripture now uh, that I'm fixing to read to you is 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 at the top of a lot of people's mind uh, with your Ukraine and uh, Russia and that situation there. Um, so let me read it to you. you. You probably already read it the last 24 hours or so, but let me read you this scripture. Uh, it's found in Matthew chapter 24. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And we're definitely seeing that happen and have been seeing it happen for a while now. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. They shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall be betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall declare many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But this is verse 13, and this is today's reminder for all of us. This is Matthew 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. How do we endure? <laughs> How do we keep on going when we're struggling, whenever we're discouraged? How do we keep on going? Well, we look to the source of our strength for help. And Jesus is completely and totally the source of our strength. Uh, his spirit, uh, his wisdom, his direction, his healing, his provision, all of that is encompassing Jesus. And the fact that we can look to him, we can pray to him, we can reach out to him. Have you taken a few minutes this morning and prayed? If you've not, I encourage you to do that because it's amazing that once you just take some time, just get along with the Lord and spend time with him and, and pray to him. And, and prayer can be as simple as just sitting down or laying down or kneeling down um, and just talking to the Lord. Just, just bury your heart to the Lord. Just tell him all about it. Tell him how you're feeling. Tell him what you're worried about, what you're concerned about. Just tell him all about it and you will find that once you pray, there is renewed strength that comes to you. There is some direction and clarity of thought, and uh, everything don't seem near as bad because you've just told the one in charge of everything going on, uh, of your worries and your concerns, and uh, you know your concerns about the war and the truckers and the future and politics and and uh, your finances, your health. Uh, your child, your good friend, everything they're going through, you're worried about that and you're worried about them. Pray, pray to the Lord. If ever there's been a time in which we need to pray, it's now, it's now. By praying to Jesus, we can get our strength in, in that, in that manner. We can get our direction in that manner. We can get our peace of mind in that manner by praying. We can try to push our way through and just grit our teeth. And, and yeah, there's a time for that, of course, uh, because it does say he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. But, but in order to get to the end, in order to get even through what you're going through today, you got to pray, you got to pray. And if you don't pray, you are totally, completely missing an opportunity for renewed strength and redirection and, and help. So pray today. Well, if you take the time and pray. God will give you the strength to endure. And he that endureth to the end shall be saved. He that doesn't give up is gonna, gonna be gonna be okay. He that doesn't uh, walk away from faith and walk away from God, uh, he that endureth, the Bible says the same shall be saved. So today, if you're looking for something, you're looking for help, looking for peace of mind, pray, 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 pray. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for watching Coffee with the Pastor. Appreciate you so much.